I don't know who this Fon Dord guy is, but he seems like quite the character. Let's see what he gets up to this month on Dicky D. Mice. So for those who are just joining us, we are joined this month by Don Ford, voice of fantasy and adventure. (laughs) Don helps us out over on our other show, Scathing Atheist, which you 100% already listened to. But just in case you don't and you found this, Don helps us out for Bible Peace Theater over there. He is an incredible voice actor. And you've been a Dungeon and Dragons DM for how many years, Don? 25. 25 years. So. When you bring on Fondord, you don't just bring on the character, you bring on a pro. So, Well, and also, it'll be nice to have somebody who's judging you that much the entire time, right? Like, who has that <laughs> much experience to be able to say, like, that's a really terrible way to go about that. See, that's the kind of savant my wife is. She can judge me without any of the extra 25 years of experience. <laughs> don't worry. I spend enough time in the car yelling at everything Heath does. So, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> All right. A few days after you meet, Fondord picks you up at the squeaky wheel for your journey through the forest of peril, which leads to Snedrick's old school, the Temple of Athiana. And he has been terrific. The night a snake made it into Snedrick's bedroll, Fondord killed it with one hand. When your party came across a giant patch. Hey, of- wait, 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 wait. What was he doing with the other hand? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming we were in my bad role. I just, I'm curious. I, I want to know the whole story here. Just we're going to leave that to the, the fan fiction. Hey, man, are you doing that with one hand? Just use both <laughs> to get the snake. <laughs> There's danger. I am a man of fantasy and adventure. But why wouldn't you use the other one? That's part of the fantasy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of the reality. <laughs> That's part of the adventure. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> when your party came across a giant patch of poisonous brambles, Fondord swung each of you across, hanging on vines without missing a beat. And if, as Blade says, he's got other souls hiding inside him, you haven't heard from them. That is, until the third and final night of your journey, just a few hours' ride from Snedrick's school. Dave, very important, is Carl with you or is he unsummoned? He is with very me. Very important. He is summoned. He is with me already, yes, from before. Okay, yep. good to know, good to know. Say hi, Carl. Hey, how's it going? Glad to be on the podcast. I'm also unscathing. I don't see, you didn't need to give me a shout out. <laughs> Carl, don't do this, okay? We invite you on the show. No, I'm just saying, you gave Don a whole big shout out. Just give him an intro, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Please, not in front of Bridget, come on. We don't get along off the air. Now everybody knows. Now everybody knows, Eli. <laughs> Such a drama queen. It's like Fleetwood Mac up in here. <laughs> Just because I had to take your dressing room that one time. We had to share. Come on. Snedrick, roll your portents for me. (laughs) The Rumors album with Carl the Pug of in the middle of the bed. (laughs) That's who's got the shit. All right. So I have have a variety here to choose from. Now I have two and 17. Ooh. All right. Hold on to those for later in the battle. And of course, Dave. As I'm sure you remember, is locked into your memory. You put your robe of bread summoning in the revender last episode, which means that if you will roll a d20 now and let me know whether or not the roll is even or odd. Wow, 20. 20. All right, that's an even roll. What a waste of a fucking I know, I'm really (laughs) mad about that. (laughs) That is an even roll, and so that means it is a plus one. Moving forward. So I can make two breads? For, we explained this last episode, Heath. It's not related to the bread. It's raised on I'd the I'd like armor. to summon two breads. You can summon no. two breads. Oh, God. I forgot to bring up the bread table. I gotta get the bread table. Oh, my God. I'm so I just realized they didn't have the bread table up. Eli, Eli this, is, this is bad parenting, okay? You don't <laughs> give him this easily, okay? Well, God is going to get the bread chart. I'm going to take Carl the Pug of Pegacorn's mane and I'm going to put it in little ponytails. 
All right. All right. I'm going to show y'all this cool new spell I learned. Check this out. And I'm going to summon Mage Hand. I'm like, nice. Yes. Very impressive, sir. It only lasts a minute, but that makes it into kind of an adventure. You know, like it's a challenge. <laughs> you can loan that hand to the to this fine fellow here, Fondor. He lost a hand. He doesn't use both his hands all the time. Not all the time. That's right. He used one hand. I used three when that fucking snake showed up. <laughs> So you're I'd checking also out- like to summon a mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I've been meaning to ask, do you have like a, Dave, do you have like a cloaca thing going on? Because, I mean, I, I can do. summon my mage hand. I'm just saying, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk after dark. We'll talk after dark. All right. Well, we have two mage hands and a Carl, just so <laughs> And <knows>. a Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to summon minus peanut after butter. <laughs> Each mage hand is clapping silently like a koan. <laughs> yeah. So as you walk along the final path to Snedrick School, you come upon a hobgoblin standing on his own at the center of the road. As you draw closer, he says, Stop right there. If you want to go further, you must pay the toll. Do you want some bread? Is that the toll? What toll? Uh, what toll, you say? Nothing much. <laughs> Just your gold, your weapons, and your lives. And as he says that last part, three other hobgoblins step out of the forest with their weapons drawn, and the bushes around you begin to rustle ominously. Everybody, roll initiative. All right, Fondor, you're going to use two hands this time around, all right? (laughs) Yes, sir. Motherfucking 20. 20. 18. I'm afraid I'm going to need that gold to recompense your mother for last night. Oh. Uh, I oh, rolled a damn. one on my initiative, though. Uh, <laughs> but that's a four. That's a four. So I'm going to fuck your mom at when, whenever one comes in as the <laughs> initiative thing. I'll I got fuck a three. your mom on my own good time. Hey. Dave got a three. <laughs> I also got a three plus four. Also got a three. Wait, you get plus on initiative? What's the plus? Yes. Have you not been adding your initiative bonus to your initiative? I have not. What do you? What's the bonus? Oh, it's, there's a plus three. So yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. It's on your. It's on your thing. It's, it's on right your character your sheet right next class. to your armor class. It's plus zero if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> I have been adding it. So there you go. <laughs> so I. I so mine is uh, twenty one with the initiative. I I forgot that we were. The, I, All I right. One, let me make that a twenty one then. Mine is a three, plus zero. Zero. All right. Let's begin. First up in the order is Snedrick. All right. Okay. How about this one? I got the color spray. A dazzling Ooh. array of flashing colored light springs for your hand. Roll 6d10. The total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Creatures <clears throat> in a 15-foot cone originating from you are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. Ignoring unconscious creatures and creatures you can't see. Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by this spell is blinded until the end of your next turn. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creature with the next lowest hit points. A creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total for their, that creature to be affected. Oh, fuck yeah, that's great, because I can hit all three of these guys, right? I have a 15-foot cone. Mm-hmm. Fuck, yeah. fuck yeah. So 60, 10. 60, 10. Quickly, someone get that man an abacus. So 30. It was, <laughs> if I had just guessed, I'd have nailed it. 30. <laughs> Sparks fly out of your fingers and dance around the eyes of the first two hobgoblins, and they sort of bat at them slowly, and the first two hobgoblins closest to you are blinded. Oh. And there's this lovely rainbow effect as it comes out of his fingers. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we, already, we already have fucking DM. <laughs> all right bridget you're up next <laughs> all right i am going to run at them stop just in front of that first one so i'm a good 15 feet away from everybody else all right <laughs> and then i'm going to cast a uh, thunder wave thunder wave oh, all right I, yeah. I think we've done this one before but read that description for me I will. Um, A wave of thunderous force sweeps out of you, and each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. 
On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. All right. So they're all going to make constitution saving throws. Yes. All right. What do they need to roll? They need to beat a 13. No. Hey. D- definitely not. <laughs> and no, none of them beat that. So how much damage Ooh. do they take? They each get nine damage and uh, they are pushed either away from the party or to the side from the party or or from me, sorry, or or back toward the party from me. It would be back towards because it was 15 and you would have had to oh, overshoot that's true. them. That's true. There you go. Math. Yeah. All right. Well done. Yeah, because now we don't have to worry about like wasting any of our time getting to them. That's mm-hmm. true. No, I have to step in here. Is it okay if I'm a math pedant? Do we have any other mathematicians on this show? Were you about to point out that the average of those rolls should have been 33, not 30? Yes, I was, but oh, well done. that's well between done. us. Well done. <laughs> All right. Next up is the Hobgoblin. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We did not take proper time to appreciate the comedic goddamn genius of Heath beating Fondor to the punch on the mouth. <laughs> okay. We, we just, we need to give him a second for that. <laughs> it's a 5.5 average. Roll. <laughs> it is. Oh You're killing it, Heath. Oh, God. I love you, Heath. Love you, See? Fondor. <laughs> Dorks. All right. He is going to aim his dagger at Fondor. He has disadvantage. Oh, come now. So that is a... Funnily enough, that's what I said to his mom last night, too. <laughs> that is a 22. <laughs> that's even with disadvantage? That's with disadvantage. Oh, no, he doesn't hit me. I'm a 23. Oh, all right. So he swings Whoa. and just barely whiffs next to Fondord's head. I really want this Hobgoblin's mom to show up as part of this. <laughs> <laughs> next up, a second Hobgoblin. This one is also blinded. He is going to take a swing at you, Bridget. Uh, 16. Oh, sorry. No, because uh, the disadvantage. Five. That will not hit. <laughs> Unless your armor class got way worse over the last couple it of minutes. It does not hit. It's true. And then finally, the not blinded hobgoblin. He pulls out a bow. He's going to take aim at Fondord. And doesn't fucking matter that he's not blinded because he's going to roll like shit. <laughs> All right. There we have it. All right. Claw, you are up next. Okay, uh, so there's two left, I believe, right? Three that you can see, and the bushes have ruffled okay. ominously. <laughs> and the ruffles have ridges. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to quarter staff attack whatever one's closest to me. Seriously, court? What are you, Amish? <laughs> Do a spell, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's the, fighter. <laughs> He's the fighter guy. He's the, He's the fighter. Yeah, I have no does. spells. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, you can vanish without a trace or whatever. Is the yeah. is. You <laughs> <blow him up. laughs> just gets super boring. Claw just leaves the party and goes off. Yeah, side goes start stealing <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, I doesn't matter what I was going to do. I'm just going to go normal <laughs> right now. I'm going to attack with a quarterstaff. Yeah, so they are all the same distance from you. Are you attacking one of the two blinded ones or the one that is not blinded? I'm going to attack the one that's not blinded. All right. Roll that d20 for me. That is a 16. Plus? Oh, God. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Fucking stuff. I don't know. (laughs) That's plus six. Plus six, yes, plus six. Mm -hmm. Yep, Uh, that'll hit. Cool. Uh, and then do I get a I get a bonus action, right? You do. Of an unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. Okay. The D6 is five plus four. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. So then I got to roll the unarmed strike uh, one as well, right? Yeah. Okay. That one is 11 uh, plus six. 11 plus six. So that's 17? Yeah. That misses. Okay, cool. But I will tell you why that misses. Because... Hobgoblins are small. Why does that miss, you might ask? I'll tell you. (laughs) Around the size of a gnome. 
So when you smash this thing over the head with your quarterstaff, <laughs> it basically pulverizes into goopy blood. So your punch misses, but really the same way it would miss a puddle of goo. Like you punch the puddle of goo. It's just he's he's no longer with us. He's he's with our Lord and Savior Jesus in heaven. So <laughs> so what you're saying is. I could use the unarmed strike on a different enemy. Not, not after missing it. You can't. You're also saying this is a Christian universe we're in. Good to know. Yeah. I clarified uh, that the last episode, Heath. I, even though you are God, you're also. Oh no! So we are. We've been. We've been worshiping a false idol. Everybody, we got. We're gonna go to hell. That's we're right. gonna sue you. I was already gonna go there. <laughs> All right. Next up. Fondord. Right. Well, I'm going to show this one who thought he could get us out of our golden items a thing or two. And by a thing or two, I mean the end of my longsword. <laughs> so with advantage, that is a 20 to hit. That'll hit. And that is eight points of damage. Oh. Fondord soars through the air and slices this hobgoblin clean in half. You did a jumping sword swing? Don't you? Some, sometimes. <laughs> I, I could. I, I like to jump with my blunderbuss, too. Sometimes I'll just jump and then shoot. I have a pamphlet if you're interested in learning more about it. Oh, I gotta <laughs> say, that's pretty impressive. I bet he didn't even need to use that other hand. He was just doing it so we wouldn't feel bad. <laughs> I moved my magic hand next to Don's hand that he keeps not using. <laughs> All right, a, you hear a rustle from the bushes. Another hobgoblin pops up about 25 feet away, takes aim at Fawn, seeing him just cut in half their leader, and is going to take aim with his bow. That is a 20, 26? 26. Uh, oh, yeah. Question. That'll hit. Can I have my magic hand pull the arrow away from the bow at the last second when they try to shoot? Sadly, that is not something Mage Hand is capable of. Are you of. sure? I am positive. Because <laughs> I'm reading it. Yeah, it, I don't yeah. see why Mage Hand wouldn't be able to do that. Mage Hand would definitely be able to do that. I mean, Let me... Uh, it isn't really your turn. Yeah, right that's now, the thing, is that it's not your turn. It's a reaction. But... It's not. <laughs> I reacted to the action. Reaction. <laughs> well, I didn't realize you'd said re at the beginning. So <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, that changes everything. Mage Hand can't do that. <laughs> yes, it can. It might not be my turn, but it can definitely All do right. that. Well, why don't we discuss it when it's your turn? <laughs> it's my turn coming right up. All right, but it's not your turn yet. I still got shot. I'm waiting to hear the... <laughs> exactly. Uh, Fond, what the hell happened be... to me? Yeah, I mean, th it you. seems to me like reading the Mage Hand, like they really did like go out of their way to make sure that you couldn't do too much with it because it gives a very specific list of things. It doesn't say like anything a hand could do. Right, like it doesn't right. say I can finger your cloaca from the next cell over or whatever. It doesn't apply that. It says you can manipulate. Well, and this says you can manipulate an object. I guess I yeah. could figure your cloaca, hold back the. But yeah, he should totally. It Both of those like things would to be manipulations, 10 pounds, though. Yeah, an arrow is way less than ten pounds, and a cloaca is just empty space technically. Well, an arrow going that fast might be more than ten pounds. No, no, no he's talking about grabbing it before the yes. guy right before oh, he releases sure, the sure, arrow. Sure. Yes. Yeah. But he's yeah. 25 feet away, though, right? It's got a 30-foot range. There's no <laughs> oh, way around okay. this main You said thing. it was right yeah. next to Sounds me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> but it's not your action. It's not your action. Yeah, no. So, so, <laughs> to, so, but to be clear, though, like, it, 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 there, there's a difference between saying the mage hand can't do that and it's not your turn and therefore you okay. can't use that now. It's only right? the second thing. That's fair. Okay. So just chalk it up to God not knowing how the universe works just on one okay. thing. I mean, yeah. to be clear, the uh, you know what? It's fine. I'll leave it. To the very supportive <laughs> audience who feels my pain each and every episode. I don't need to defend myself to you. I defend myself to the Dungeons Jesus and Dragons. Christ, on the Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. I'm saved. I'm pure. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. Eli, we've established I have a free hand. It's yours, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Five damage. You take five damage. <laughs> okay. See, that's what you get for offering a hand to this man. <laughs> do you want me? Do you want me to roll, or are you rolling? Oh, I will roll because okay, this is unlike any of the other encounters. Ooh. As the arrow grazes past Fondord and does a slight cut to his cheek, it glows red. In fact, all of Fondord choice for fantasy and adventure glows red. You hear 
screams that feel as though they're coming from inside a vessel from somewhere. There's a bright light, a flash. Uh, D12, right, Don? Yep. <laughs> that would be a nine. Okay. And Don, tell us what people see when the light fades away. When the light fades away, Fondord has a saggier disposition. He has jowls. He looks very lethargic and sad. He appears to have a sunken face from what you remember, although it's very clearly still Fondord's. He's put on a couple pounds somehow, but all in all, he looks different somehow. Is he Richard Nixon? <laughs> Close. <laughs> I was, that's what I was picturing. Right. He had he had multiple personalities, I hear. I think he has souls inside of yeah, him. Yeah. Right? He say. is a many that's soul. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Not the highly contested mental <laughs> illness, multiple personalities. He is a many soul. It's made out of magic. Dave, you're up next. <laughs> All right. I'd like to talk about uh, the magic yeah. hand now that it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. So it's established that I could do that thing I was talking about. That's that's in. You can do. Let me read you the spell. Can I tell my hand to do that eventually as my action? So you're going to tell the hand to just like distract that guy. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to make sure that like, you know, the the, the description here is, is useful. So for your turn, I just want to be clear. I'm not saying I'm doing this. I'm asking about how this would work. theoretically. Mm, I'm not okay. doing a thing. I'm just wasting your time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Correct. here's the thing. You can tell the mage hand, hey, mage hand, for my action, I'm going to cast, I'm going to prepare the action of casting mage hand. Earlier, Noah and I both, uh, Snedrick and I both cast mage hand. Oh, that's right. You cast it before you walked over. Ah, now I got to find out about what the fuck that is. I means. also cast summon bread or whatever. I'm, I'm actually very interested in that bread. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I've got two different types. I've got um, Martin's potato rolls. Oh and I've got, God. you know, the you biscuits that you get at the be Red Lobster oh with the cheese in it. <laughs> oh, my God. If you use your precious time, <laughs> precious time, getting fucking food for that one. So, uh, potato roll. You can use your action to control the hand so you can prepare your action and tell the hand what to do as long as it is within the bounds of the things that we talked about. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Thank you, though. So I what I am going to do... <laughs> I'm going to kill him. I, I would like to cast... Red dragon appears. A big red would, dragon that only hates heat. Great. Is that there real? There are 12 of them. No. Okay. Bluff. Caught you. <laughs> I would like, in reality, to cast Scorching Ray. Ooh. Uh, question, what level am I? You are level... I think we're four. Four. I'm level four. I don't know about this motherfucker over here. Okay, so that means because of the stupid fucking system, my spells are level three. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, actually two. Yeah, they're two. level two. What? Level two. That, well, you did the system you get the dumber? the spells that you have. Why don't we have level three and four spells yet? I have level uh, three Because you only Because that comes at level five and level seven. Duh, what? aren't you keeping up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so excited for Heath to learn this. Are you? Is that real right now? That's one hundred percent real. One hundred percent real. At level five, I get level three spells. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Jesus, but I have level three spells now because I have some level three shit. Yeah, it's all right. Are. Oh, Heath, Heath, think about it this way: your player level is different from your spell level, and your spell level, assuming you keep leveling in the same class, is your spell level. Put into two n minus one equals your player level. So, oh my god! Okay, kill me. Got it. So n n is your <laughs> highest level of spell. Two n minus one is your player level. Three. Okay, got it. So this I'm, show is really about defining all the this intricacies. Is about, of yeah, no, <laughs> of, of things that we're really not doing. Yeah. Limits. <laughs> F of X is two n minus one. <laughs> oh my god, dork! It's decided. So I will be casting scorching ray. I create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. I can hurl them at one target or several, and I make a ranged spell attack for each ray. On a hit, the target takes 2d6 fire damage. All right. At higher levels, if oh. this made sense, I would get other shit, but apparently these are level two spells, even though I'm level like five or whatever. Four. Four. 
<laughs> All right, Heat, there are two visible goblins. Are you firing two at one, one at the other? What's the deal? Uh, oh, there's, I thought there were three or four. There's only two now visible. Oh, two right. are dead. Two, are, two, two got, couple killed got killed. And, oh, we killed yeah. two already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't so know I'm about shoot. we. You weren't really involved in that. But yeah, yeah, right. So. No, I, I was blinded. doing bread stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> I, there's uh, well, which, I, which, it's my fault. I brought up the mage hand and the cloaca. Really. Yeah, you were doing <laughs> hand stuff and bread stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> this mage hand's gonna do some serious. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I will shoot two of the rays at the one who has less damage, and then one ray at the one who has more damage. Fantastic. Roll those dice for me. Okay. 19. Ooh. Plus whatever, something. Six, yeah. That absolutely hits. Okay, so plus six because that's my spell attack plus. Mm -hmm. So I super duper hit him. Yeah. And now I roll the D6s. Two D6s, that's right. Okay. That is a two and, and a one. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so you, you do... Three damage to one and six damage to the other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The one that was looking a little bit rough, the blind one, that fire, it just does him in. The fire bolt hits him and he just wilts and just dies in a smoking pile. Again, these are not fearsome creatures. The one at a distance, it's because he's far away, he manages to sort of like duck ever so slightly, but he is very badly burned in the words of Will Ferrell. Fondor's going to fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. That's the end of the round. The bushes ruffle slightly and two more hobgoblins step forward, one of whom is wearing a long, blonde hobgoblin wigs and says, nobody brags about fucking me to my son <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then murder some same son. I said those in a weird... Or also, I decided that they were going to have British accents, so <laughs> nobody... Nobody forgets to do my accent and then murders my son and then fucks me with self-same son. I can't believe they don't know better by now. <laughs> Snedrick, you're up. Oh, it's me. Um, all right. How far away are these guys? About 25 feet. Same as the uh, other one that popped out of the bushes. Oh, I want to do the cloaca thing. Um <laughs> <laughs> do it. Uh, let's see here. Cloaca thing. Cloaca thing. Um, no, because it's a female. If I do that, then I'm just, it's, it's a little weird. That's right. I was thinking to the males just, you know, for that reason. Yeah. <laughs> you, wait, instead of doing an attack, you're going to sexually pleasure the hobgoblin. I'm pretty sure that counts as an attack and you cannot <laughs> do that. With I, mean, I feel like at the very least that's disadvantage for whoever attacks him. Right? Like that's, oh, like, that's a distraction. Jeffrey Tubin's former employer would argue that, that is an attack. <laughs> also, that's what I was going to do. So, I mean, you know. You yeah. <laughs> and out of the woods appears the hobgoblin HR guy to talk all this through. <laughs> All right, so I am going to attack the mom with my Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. I have uh, a really quick question. Did yes. you say that she was wearing a blonde wig? Yes. Oh, no. Hobgoblins don't oh, have hair. Oh, no. Continue. <laughs> Important for, <laughs> for Claw's turn. Do not steal the wig. We're going to take it for you. If you steal that wig. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my portent of 17. That'll hit. Roll that damage. Five. Freezing gust comes over this hobgoblin in the wig. The wig freezes solid and falls off and sort of lands carefully onto the grass besides her. And she goes, ooh, chilly. Bridget, you're up next. I can't tell if that <laughs> was it's hard. It's so hard for me <laughs> to feel badass after I throw like rainbow attacks and something. <laughs> you know, chili doesn't sound too bad right about exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. I can make a bread bowl for it. Um. Okay, I'm going to... Nobody's near them right now, yeah? Nobody's near them. Excellent. I'm going to shatter them. I'm going to... A sudden loud ringing noise painfully intense erupts from a point of your choice within range... Uh, which is 60 feet, by the way. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on the point must uh, make a constitution saving throw. 
Has to beat a 13, by the way, if you want to make those now. A creature takes 3d8 thunder damage and a failed save and half as much on, on a successful one. All right. Two of them saved. One of them did not. All right. Then that is going to be... One second, 3d8. <laughs> That's going to be seven. Seven? Mm-hmm. All right. So the first hobgoblin, the one that got hit, with Dave's spell before, as the loud ringing noise comes out, it just explodes. It just poof into into like red mist. It's it's gone. The second hobgoblin, this is the female one. This is the first hobgoblin's mother. Holds on to its ears, falls down dead. Oof. And then the final hobgoblin clutches its ears, falls down, but then slowly makes its way up to its feet. But it does not look good. Again, these are hobgoblins. They are not particularly strong. You don't have to keep shitting on our accomplishment every time by pointing out what a weekend. Like, you decided we were fighting. We would have gone and fought something kick ass if we had a choice. <laughs> yeah. So, on that note, that hobgoblin staggers to its feet and pulls out a small wooden horn and goes, Reinforcements and Ooh. blows the horn. Oh, no, you shouldn't have spoken. You hear the ground shake beneath you as huge feet approach. And pushing past the trees in the clearing about 40 feet ahead, you see a massive, dangerous-looking troll. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, that's only one reinforcement, though, guys. That's nice. He he said it like it was plural. I... Always We're definitely doing the, the magic hand thing to the giant so troll, right? Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, Dave, you and I together can fist him. That'll distract him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal the wig. <laughs> that will be your action. I just want you to know. Happy to do so. Absolutely not. <laughs> Question What does Fondord look like? Yeah, I, I'm trying to piece, or I'm trying to figure out the voice. Is it? You, you're trying to figure out the voice. Are you a human? Oh yes, I'm still human. Is what it, are you talking about? It's a little bit of Monty Burns. Is no, it? Keep guessing. Oh, I kind of get that. I'm trying. To, I can't right remember. from who's, from who's, Ocean's Ocean's Eleven from The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Oh, never mind. I'm <laughs> completely wrong. The old guy from Ocean's Eleven. Saul? Though. Saul. Saul Bloom? Yeah. No, not hardly. Is it, um, who's the... This is what impersonation guys love, is when everybody's standing around trying to guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Can't get enough of this. <laughs> Please, tell me exactly who I sound like. I... No, you know, I, you... I can't remember the name. That's, that's not you, it's me. I can't remember the person I'm thinking of. It's not you, it's me! <laughs> you know, you sound just like my uncle. I love spending time with your voices, Don. <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. Dude. I just Damn need it, some time it? with my own voice is all I'm saying. I need... I want to it's all right. Down. I just came here to do this show. It's fine. <laughs> the Pepperidge Farm guy? <laughs> no, I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, the brain. There you go. There we go. All right, Claw, it is your turn. Are you using your turn to steal the wig? Yes. All right, Claw steals <laughs> the it. wig off the floor. Fondord, you're up next. Um, This is a very scary situation for me to find myself in. I'm a pessimist by nature, so I throw the... Uh, long sword on the ground, and I go hide behind the one that has been advertising the delicious breads for the past half hour. Oh my god. You chose the wrong one to hide behind. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Excuse me. I was wondering if you still had some of those. You want that red lobster one? Oh my god, yes, please. Yeah, yeah I got plenty of these. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How far away is the troll? Like, far enough away that we could bullshit around for ten minutes, or no? <laughs> I spent my time <laughs> eating bread. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fondord eats bread, and the troll, I'm glad you asked, charges towards you. Okay. 
Now, Ugh. it does see and smell the bread, so it's going to aim <laughs> for Dave and Fawn. It's going to use its multi-attack. It's going to try and bite you, Dave, and then it's going to try and claw at Fawn Dord. I'd like uh, to make a reaction. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It's going to bite and claw, is what you said? Mage hand in the cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> or put some bread in the mage hand and have it run away. I I think oh. bread in the mouth with the magic hand. You can't use the magic hand as a reaction. <laughs> Why not? Because you have to use it as an action. Okay. All right. As a reaction, can I throw bread into its mouth? No. Why, Why not? Because <laughs> that has to be your action. Your react. Look, what, can, your what, screen, what are reactions that aren't actions? They, that's, oh, look on your thing. There's a tab for them. If you look on your reactions, you can use an opportunity attack when a hostile creature you can see moves out of your reach. Oh, yeah. Reaction. Reaction. That is the ac reaction you can do. Opportunity attack. Yes. With mage hand. You can do that. <laughs> you can't attack with mage hand. You can't attack with a mage hand. <laughs> Okay, opportunity attack with blunderbuss. Nope. No. Nope. You don't have it drawn. He didn't one, he didn't move out of your reach. He moved into your reach. He's coming at you. Yeah, opportunity attack is like when they are moving away from you. Yes. Oh, so I have no reaction is what you're telling no, me. No, you not have no appropriate reaction. at the moment. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can I say something? Absolutely. Always. Speaking is a free action. Okay. I pump fake and I say nothing and he gets confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. That is a nine. Does that hit you? No. Does it hit you, Dave? No, it, does it actually not. doesn't hit you. Okay, I, <laughs> I understand. You said it all suspicious. You said it like it hit you. <laughs> <laughs> you did say it like it hit you. And Fawn, he will hit you with one of his claws. Okay. And do... Three damage. Okay, and roll d12. Roll Yay, a d12. I was going to say, do you turn red again? I, you better fucking turn yep. red again. All right. <laughs> yep. yep, turns red. Uh, ten. And what happens when the red light goes away? Okay, all of his features are now sharper, more angled. His ears are slightly pointed. His mustache falls off. Mm. And <laughs> he has very bright, sparkly eyes and Looks much, much thinner, almost gaunt, a little taller. And he's very excited to be here. Batman. <laughs> Did you say Batman? <laughs> the Batman of my dreams, maybe. All right. <laughs> that is the troll's turn. Dave, you are up. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. I would like to... How many... So there's the giant troll, and then are there other goblins still? A fucked up hobgoblin holding a horn. <laughs> That's it? That's it. I feel like we should still fuck that little asshole up. He's the one who called it. Oh, right. Okay. He seems not that dangerous, though. Should no, I go after him? No. Uh, no, you should. I'd go after the troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he gets a turn. No, he seems right? exceptionally dangerous. We should go after him. Can I okay? Can I do the my magic rocks thing where I make a bunch of rocks and hit both of them? You can't hit them with the rocks, but you can create magic stones. That I don't. I, if I don't can't, I don't want to hit them. And that's a bonus action. Well, those look lovely. Wait, that's a bonus action, as in he can do his thing and do that in this turn. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, as a bonus action, after I create them, I can throw them or whatever. No, you can create them as a bonus action. After, so like you could do an attack on this turn and as a bonus action, create some for the next turn or for oh, the next person Oh, yeah, definitely wants. doing that. Yep. Okay. Yep. So as my action, I'm going to shoot the troll in the face with a blunderbuss. And then as a bonus action, <laughs> I'm creating the rocks. Okay. <laughs> now, I do not want to let this dissuade you, but if you fire your blunderbuss, it is going to hit Fondord, who is standing right next to He's you. He's behind me. He said he was behind me. Not now. Not now. I got very excited. Fondord moved behind me. No. Why? Just do it. Everything Everything looks so Do you, nice. you, you not hear the conversation I'm having with God? Do move says, behind me. Everything within five feet of the target. That would be you as well, because the troll is right in front of you. It just tried to bite. You mean I'd be able to somehow shoot myself with a gun that was facing away from me? Yeah, the bullets to a blunderbuss are explosive. No, they're not. <laughs> 
They are in Dungeons and Dragons world. Oh, what? That's not a blunder bus. It's that, that's a rocket launch. That's a grenade you're gonna, launcher. You're gonna have to take it up with the nerds. Who, if you look under the description of your blunder bus, say explosive upon hit. Everything within five feet of target must make a dexterity saving throw plus eight to your proficiency. Bonus. Okay, so if we roll well on our saving throw, we can hit him <laughs> and not us. So he's that so close, true. you basically just have to turn the gun on yourself at this point. That's how close. <laughs> that would work oh, too. Fire upwards into your own face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or you can shoot Don. For the first time, Bugs Bunny physics pays off. <laughs> you could shoot Don and we could get a new voice. <laughs> Sick of that one already. No, huh? I was just saying, I, I really want to get through like all 12 of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. I feel, <laughs> I feel like the move is Witch Bolt at the, the troll. Oh, yeah. Witch Bolt oh, at yeah, the troll. Definitely. All right. Roll that D20 for me. Okay. Read that description. It's been a little while since you used Witch Bolt. Okay. I have a 30 foot range on this, so plenty. A beam of crackling blue energy lances out toward a creature within range, forming a sustained arc of lightning between me and the target. I make a ranged spell attack against that creature. On a hit, the target takes 1d12 lightning damage, and on each of my turns for the duration, I can use my action to deal 1d12 lightning damage to the target automatically. Again, the spell ends if I use my action to do anything else. The spell also ends if the target is ever outside the spell's range or if it has a total cover from me what would that be what's a total cover like if he goes behind a rock or something yeah if he managed to hide entirely from a tree yeah yeah okay and at higher levels i can go fuck myself okay great <laughs> so i roll a d20 roll that d20 for me that is a eight eight plus six right yes that's 14 eli thank you you missed <laughs> You miss. Witch Bolt goes right by the troll's ear who goes, Oi, oi, oi. That's not very nice now, is it? And turns menacingly towards you. Snedrick, you're up. I create magic rocks also. Yep. And magic rocks are also at your Ooh, feet now. Look, magic rocks. This is wonderful. Thank you. Yes, they are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at one of my spells. Uh, give me one second. Sorry, I was doing something with a cloaca. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw out a big one here. I'm gonna use Agonazer's Scorcher. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, a line of roaring flame, thirty feet long and five feet wide, emanates from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. That would just I would be able to aim that just at I could like move into position to aim that just at the troll, right? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe even the troll and the. Little hobgoblin guy. I don't know. I, so, all right. Uh, creature takes three d8 fire damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. All right. Uh, he needs to roll a saving throw. His dexterity is not great. I'm sure, we all imagined because he is a troll. No, nope, that's not what I need. There we go. All right. He's going to either take twelve or six damage. That's a two. So he's going to take twelve damage. All right. Excellent. Bridget, you are up. All right. I'm going to run over to this troll and inflict wounds on him. That's vague. <laughs> now, just to be clear, because there's a lot of like, how far am I from everyone? You're running right up to the troll, right? Aye. Okay, good. Because I got to touch him. So I'm going to slap his ass and uh, uh, make... Uh, okay, here we go. I guess I just make a melee spell attack. So that's a 13 plus uh, 13 plus so it's 18. Yeah, that'll hit. Excellent. Excellent. So that's going to be 13 damage. 13 damage. All right. Big wounds open up on this troll's face and chest. It roars in rage at the pain. The injured goblin is up next, takes out the horn again and goes, wow, nobody stopped me. Blows the horn. <laughs> oh, you hear shit. thunderous footsteps in the distance <laughs> and a second <laughs> troll appears. Motherfuck. Shame nobody suggested that to somebody who had multiple <laughs> attacks that he could use on different multiple. Oh, my 
Could he just keep doing that? That would be interesting. <laughs> just hopping in once again to thank you for listening to the show. I hope you are enjoying it. I figured we owed you a nice honk and chonk of an episode after a rather shorter selection last month. This was a ton of fun to play through and we hope you enjoy listening to it as much as we did recording it. Our next episode will be out on February 5th. But if you don't want to wait, if you'd like to get that episode 24 hours earlier without this middle part where I talk about all the things, why not sign up to support the show at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus for as little as a dollar an episode, you get the commercial free version. But if you give us more, you get cool stuff like the mini game we played the worst than the dimmest or my two dungeon masters corners where I talk about a little bit of behind the scenes stuff of the show and you'll help support us make the show and also eat food, which we need to do to survive. Anyway, thanks so much for listening. And now, Back to the show. Claw, you're up, and you have a wig. Yeah. <laughs> Claw, there's also a long sword and a mustache on the ground, too, just so you know. And three magic rocks. <laughs> there's the long sword by the wig that I picked up? Oh, uh, the one that I dropped when I when I ran away. Okay. That's not by me, though, right? That's, like, in the middle of no. the... Uh... Yeah, that's in the middle of melee. <laughs> I'm going to add blonde wig to my inventory. Please do. I have plans for that wig. I, just want to... I bet you do. <laughs> 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 and my it mage Im- hand, actually. <laughs> it involves Carl. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> Don't disturb the ponytails I put in his hair. Um, The goblin and the troll are not, like, next to each other, right? If I Nowhere... If I... Nowhere, Nowhere near, near each other. Okay, I'm going to kill the goblin. All right. Okay, I'll do a quarter staff and an arm strike as a bonus section. Roll that d20. Ooh, four plus six. Uh, that's a miss. And then with the unarmed strike, 14 plus six. That will hit. Two plus four. Yeah, you punch this very injured hobgoblin in the face, and he's. He's barely alive, but he he is alive. Get out of here! Oh. Mm-hmm. Because if it was if he was dead, you could have had him punch the horn and make the horn like go up into his mouth, into his brain. <laughs> then, but he's not <laughs> dead. I should have so just stolen that. the horn. Oh, I I was thinking he punches the horn so hard it makes a noise and another <laughs> troll. <appears. laughs> no, I should have stolen the horn. Is what I should have done. Yeah. Nice. Right. Oh yeah. Well, it might be useful to be able to summon trolls later. <laughs> All right. No, just Fawn. couldn't summon anymore. <laughs> Fawn, you're up next. Well, I just this is also very exciting. Um is is there anything that I can do to be of assistance here? I'm I'm just an elected official. I don't know what I'm doing. You could steal the horn. Oh, uh, you could you could lend an attack to us if you want. I don't to. have a weapon. Magic yeah, rock. I feel like you could probably just blow on that fucking hobgoblin at this point. Okay, well, I'll pick up one of these these beautiful stones. These are very well done. You should come to my village and do this for a living. Um, all right, then. Uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to throw it at that troll over there. And that will be... The troll or the hobgoblin? Well, the troll's right in front of me. So, yep. okay. and and this guy is not very adventure Mm-hmm. Ah. So he's going to he's throw. He's the fantasy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, no, unfortunately, <laughs> he's neither fantasy. Well, he's neither fantasy nor adventure. He's just is strange. He the voice? Um, yeah, he is a voice. I didn't say <laughs> right. that. Okay, he uh, fifteen to hit the troll. Um, that'll just do it. All right. What's the damage on a magic rock? One d six plus one. Okay. He'll take another four points of damage. All right. Four damage to the troll. So this rock, this magic rock goes a ping off the side of the troll's head and he goes, all right, all right, all right. And again, he's going to try to bite Dave. So Dave, that is a 13. So my reaction is nothing because I can't react. Cannot react. 
Okay. And he missed. He missed. I don't know. Did he? Nope. Nope. Your armor class is 12. He's the 13. So he missed or he hit me? He hit you. He hit you. Okay. Um, <laughs> And he is going to do... Argue, man. Argue back. <laughs> he's going to do 10 damage to you. Can I do anything? Ouch. No. I mean, you can fight him back in the D&D adventure. <laughs> you can use your magic spells. There's many things you'll be able Wait, to do. Wait, is it my your... turn or no? It's not your turn yet. It's going to be your turn in a second. Okay. <laughs> So I can't so do anything. You just right now. got hit. Yeah. Ex ex I thought you just meant like in the game generally. <laughs> like, what? I'm just supposed to fucking sit here where this stroll <laughs> beats the shit out of me? But well, that's because it's a turn based yes. system. If you'll remember, he sat there very still while you cast the spell at him. <laughs> that's true. He did. He was very patient. But in our audience's theater of the mind, you, you do your best dodging possible and still get hit. Yeah, you still get hit. Uh, and then he's going to swipe a claw at Fondor. Serpentine. Serpentine. Ow. That's going to be a one, so he will miss. And a 27. Okay. I get hit. <laughs> and that is seven points of damage. Okay. And he turns red. And he turns red. I do. Turns red. I do. All right. And that is a two. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, dear. What's going on around here? Who are you, mom? people? Mom? No. Oh, we met my mom in this already. <laughs> Never mind. No! Oh, my God, my cousin! Bridget, is that Wait. you? <laughs> Bridget, I've not <laughs> seen you since you were knee high to a halfling. I, I, I am uncomfortable now. <laughs> um, Y'all want to save this until after we kill these two trolls? I, and I, this I hobgoblin, do. we still have the fucking kind hobgoblin. Kind of in the middle of something. It's a <laughs> little bit of a situation. <laughs> Dave, it's your turn. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to cast Crown of Madness on one of the giant trolls and get him to attack the other one. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. Dave, you are out of pact magic. No, I'm not. You are. I Nope. Scorching Ray. <laughs> Witch Bolt. Those are your two pact slots. You can only cast your I used Witch Bolt as a... That's a cantrip. It's not a cantrip. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> you need to dive roll into the blunderbuss shot. Or you could just use the, you know, the one that all warlocks use. The cantrip. You've got these magic stones at your feet. You can use those too. Oh, I can... If Okay. The move feels like definitely... I feel like Snedrick has, has the idea. I'm going to do like a big run, jump, dive roll, blunderbuss shot. If you run away from him, he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Why? you? I feel like you just don't want me to shoot this blunderbuss and you always come up with something. <laughs> I did not come up with the rules of Dungeons and Dragons. Take that up with the ghost of Gary Gygax. <laughs> you, could, you could shoot the hobgoblin. I feel like two yeah. giant trolls is a little bit more pressing. No, no, no. Shooting the fucking hobgoblin with the blunderbuss would just be so satisfying, though. Right? Yep. Right, getting him aye, in the horn aye. with the blunderbuss. I like that. Yep. Hey, or just the horn. And just and and hey, if, you, if you, you you could do that with just a strafe, you wouldn't have to do a dive roll, and therefore you wouldn't never turn your back to the troll. Hey. So like, is that all correct? I think a strafe. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Doing that blunderbuss. <laughs> all right, roll that d twenty for me. That's a four. So you will miss. That's a lot so you of fire setup. your blunderbuss <laughs> and it just <laughs> bleh, off into the distance. You hear in the bushes a hobgoblin go, ah, oh, I was the most dangerous one of all. Bah. Got him. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a Wilhelm scream because, of course, there is. Yeah, yeah, obviously. All right. This second troll is up. It's going to run over to Snedrick and it's going to attack Snedrick. Three times. Jeez. One bite and two swipes. Those will be... Can I run a little bit away after I shoot and miss? Uh, you can use disengage as your action, but you can't run away. Wait, I, I can use disengage as a second action? Not as a second action, but as an action on a turn. Oh, on my next turn? Yeah. Okay, you can't like shoot and then like... Move a bit after shooting? No. Well, you think this is third edition? Those will all be hits. Thank that... you, Don. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, those will all be hits. And Ouch. 
Snedrick, you are going to take seven, nine, 15 damage. All right. Seven and nine doesn't. Oh, that was a two. That Okay. Yeah, I All was right. I was adding as I went along. <laughs> but you know what? Good call. Good call. Because you never know with Eli Bosnick. You never know. Snedrick, you are up. You have a troll staring down at you, having just done 15 damage, which I believe is half your life. More than that. Um, all right. I am going to draw my fists in close to my body, and I'm going to clench them as hard as I can. Then I'm going to throw them out to either side, and I'm going to scream, Donald Duck! And I'm going to summon my ass wolves. <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh, shit. Mark of the Packmaster. All right. Read that description. All right. So if you recall, I have this wolf uh, tattoo on my ass cheek. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> just checking where the tattoo was. Ass cheek. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no. It's just so everyone knows why I'm calling them my ass wolves. Once per long rest, the wearer may use an action to activate the tattoo's power, causing one D4 plus one wolf of the same color as depicted on the tattoo to appear within five feet of the wearer. These wolves persist until killed or until 10 minutes have passed, at which point they disappear into smoke. The wolves follow the wearer's every mental command and act on the wearer's initiative. Any article of clothing which covers the tattoo upon activation is destroyed in the process. Thus, the call of <laughs> Donald Duck um, as the wolves leap through the cloth. If the tattoo is covered by armor, the tattoo will not activate. So I'm going to summon a parent. Three wolves. Three nice. wolves uh, come bursting out of your ass. Uh, what is your mental command? Uh, to attack this goddamn troll that just fucked me up. Do these giant wolves jump on the troll and drag him to the ground and hold him there? So he is now grappled and being attacked by all three of these wolves. Fuck yeah, he is. Uh, they are brown, by the way. All Wait, three wolves are brown. Are. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god. Bridget, you are up. Hey. Okay, so obviously Snedrick is not doing great right now. Am I right? No, yeah, I'm I'm hitting sitting at eleven of my twenty six hit points, and my little gnome dick is hanging out too. That I mean, that's just like it doesn't make me more vulnerable, but it makes me feel more vulnerable. You know? <laughs> You're full Winnie the Pooh at the moment. <laughs> I am actually going to take an attack of opportunity. I'm going to run over Snedrick. Okay, you're going to take the attack of opportunity from the troll. I. All right, the troll will swipe out at you. That is a one. So the troll is very distracted by wolves bursting out of <laughs> Snedrick's ass and then taking down its companion. So it just sort of half-heartedly waves its hand as you as you run away. <laughs> <laughs> That's phenomenal. And you are over by Snedrick and the other troll. Excellent. As my action, I am going to cure wounds. At what level? At level two. Got it. Um... Snedrick, you are going to take uh, 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 that's 10 to so get 10 back. 10 back. 10 back. And right. as my bonus action, mm -hmm. I am going to summon my spiritual weapon. Ooh! I, oh, read that spell description for them so they know what they're in for. You create a flowing spectral weapon within range that lasts for the duration, which is a minute, or until you cast the spell again. When you cast the spell, you may make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 plus your spell casting ability modifier. As a bonus action on your next turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it. The weapon can take whatever form you choose. Oh, fuck yeah. So I would like to let you guys know there is a glowing keg of alcohol appears <laughs> out of nowhere. Look at that. And it floats over the top of the head of this oh dear. hobgoblin. Because we still haven't oh, taken oh, out the, the hobgoblin. hobgoblin. Yeah, I get rid of that hobgoblin. It floats over to that fucking hobgoblin. And I, I actually don't think the hobgoblin's within range. Uh, is he, excuse me, is he within 60 feet? Uh, let me yep. check. Yep, mm. he definitely is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you already feet? used your mm. bonus action though, and you no. created mm. the spiritual weapon next to the troll. Yeah, so you would have to attack the troll this round. Oh, 
wait, 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 wait. I can create a floating spectral weapon within range, which is within 60 feet. Did I say I created it right next to the troll? I think. Yes, you did. No, you said you created it next to the troll. She absolutely didn't say. No, she didn't. I got her before she said troll. All right. All right. This is recorded audio. Go so to the tape. I'm going to go back. At, if everyone hears a voiceover <laughs> now, <laughs> that's going to be me being like, see how they fucking lied to me? You see how they lied and, to me? And listeners? if they don't hear a, a voiceover, it'll be like, oh, I guess I was wrong and there will be no consequences for me. Well, th- that will definitely not be in it no matter what. So I'm just going to use that when you said other stuff. So they'll be like, oh. And- no, I was admitting he was wrong. It's fine. Eli's theater of the mind has non-Euclidean geometry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're creating spiritual weapon next to the hobgoblin. I next to oh no above the hobgoblin because mm-hmm. that little the the what is it called the little bigot thing that comes out of it tap this little tap, yeah the tap, tap. Uh, the yeah. tap suddenly explodes out and uh. Acid comes out from a, the, the strongest alcohol you could ever see. Wood alcohol comes out and just drenches <laughs> the, the poor the sword sucker. Wouldn't it be better if the keg just dropped on him full of alcohol? I was thinking the keg would drop. Yeah. I was thinking oh. that it would. No, no, no. Hey, this is so good. It okay, opens yes, up please. and you dump it down into his little horn that he keeps blowing and he drowns in it. <laughs> That's the best oh, one. You got to hit That's first. That's the best one. You got to hit. I, roll a d20. I, <laughs> oh, right. I got to roll, roll a d20. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure, D20, right. Fucking. Okay. All right. Well, this is. Uh... Lie, lie. <laughs> <laughs> lie right now. 20. Anabodnik, tell a lie. <laughs> Lies for radio greatness. <laughs> I will run upstairs and look at your dice. That's okay. She can change it. Yeah, by Back then. 12. <laughs> That's not going to hit. Motherfucker. No, you're going to pour the. Your Can I spiritual lie? God damn it. Let her finish 1200. <laughs> plus my modifier. Plus my modifier, which is, is 17. Five. Still not going to hit it. Get fuck off. What? It's a hot Wait. goblin. <laughs> what does that you, mean? You said it like that. <laughs> I'm looking at it. It's, it's AC is higher than 17. I don't know why. I, I... <laughs> Boo. Boo. All right, Bridget, you pour this booze next to this hobgoblin. I'm by the hobgoblin, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll, I'll have some. I drink alcohol. some also. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have some alcohol. <laughs> With his weakest breath, he raises the horn to his lips and says, God damn it. You know, I was actually only planning for there to be one set of reinforcements. <laughs> and he blows in the horn. <laughs> But wait, wouldn't the horn be less effective with a bunch of alcohol in it? There's, she missed. She missed. Yeah, she I missed. missed. I missed. He blows in the horn. Magic hand puts a mute over the bell of the horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he blows into the horn and you hear the flutter of wings as the leggy legs and furry body <gasps> of Carl the Pug of Pegacorn <gasps> goes spearing into the heart of this hobgoblin <laughs> just as he's about to blow it. He goes, I don't think you guys can handle three trolls. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> I don't think you guys can handle three trolls. But. Nope, that's it. That's it. <laughs> however, moving however, on. <laughs> there. Nailed it. Story. Claw, you're up. <laughs> Two okay. trolls. One is held down and being attacked by three wolves. The other is fighting Not Dave Dan. right now. Uh, and uh, and Fawn. It's fighting Dave and Fawn. Uh, I would like to do an action which does not uh, count as an action, and I think you'll be okay with it because it's pretty chill. I would like to give the blonde wig to Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. Absolutely. Okay, and then move on. Uh, I was I'm sure going... you were stealing the fucking horn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to stay there. What's the back. long con on this? Where... The long con is to use the magic hair that we stole from the woman in the previous village, secretly oh put it in the blonde wig and see what happens to Carl. Fantastic. All right. Is that what you do? We don't do enough know, experiments no, no. on Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I do now. I just, the, the, the minor action that I'm hoping doesn't count is to give the blonde wig. Okay. I know, I'm just a, I know I'm just a guest, but I swear to God, if this does not end 
in a what's opera doc scenario where <laughs> Carl the Pug of Pegacorn <laughs> is singing to Dave, I I I give up. Yep. Yeah. It better All fucking right. happen. I have no idea what you just said, but it better Claw, happen. Claw, you use cool. your your minor bonus action to give Carl a blonde wig. What do you do with your actual action? Okay, so I am going to do this uh, Fist of the Elements. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to have it be lightning. Uh, that's the element that I'm picking from here on out. All right. Your fist crackles with lightning energy. And I'm going to attack the one that's attacking Dave. All right. All unarmed strikes? Yes. All right. So that's just two strikes, right? Because you're not using a key point? No. Okay. Okay. First one is eight plus six. And the second one is 13 plus six. So 14 and what did I say? 13 plus and 19. All right. Give me one second. I'm just looking up what the Fist of the Elements does to your damage. It's an extra 1d6 plus 1 damage of chosen elemental type. All right, great. So one of them hits. Okay. So I would roll uh, a d4 and then a d6, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So the d4 is 2 plus 4. 6. And the d6 is, what was it? 3 plus, was it 1? 1, yeah. Plus 1, okay. 3 plus 1. All right, and that's 4. All right. Lightning crackles forth from you and you just sort of tase this troll that's glaring at Dave and it turns angrily towards you. Fawn, you're up next. Okay. So this is going to be pretty freaking sweet. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Way to build it the fuck up, man. (laughs) I will start by saying sweet modifier and... (laughs) I call the sword back to my hand and I charge the one that was going for Bridget. Got it. Who was go- was one going for me? I think the wolf one, maybe? The one that weakly swiped at you and rolled a one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't you dare harm a hair on that <laughs> little girl's head! I swear to Christ, I'll cut you off! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize your cousin Evelyn Shalebeard? Oh, okay. All right. So Evelyn rolls. Oh, shit. I'm not on the right tab. Oh, God, do I remember Evelyn Shellbeard? No. I thought okay. you said Evelyn Jailbait and things were very different to me. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That's a very special character if you roll on the table. I was like, where are we going? Those are, that is behind the paywall, y'all. You gotta be a, gotta be a patron to hear that one. This HR Hobgoblin has so much paperwork. <laughs> He's the one who okay. died at the blunderbuss, and he was so grateful. He was so grateful when you killed him with your blunderbuss. So I, so I rolled a 22 plus whatever I get for charging. That'll hit it. And uh, damage is going to be seven. Oh, Good old stab to this troll roars in anger, and it is bloody. On that note, the troll is going to turn and try and swipe at this uh, bird fondord that just attacked him. He's going to roll a two for his attack, though. Oh, you little shite. He rolls a two. That'll miss. Oh, that's right. Try again next time when you grow a spine. I always forget to use those fucking things. (laughs) Womp womp. Yeah, and that was just the one swipe. That was not a multi-attack. So, Dave, you're up. Excellent. Okay. How close am I to the troll that I was fighting with before? Right in front of you. Okay. So, can I move away and then do something? Well, it's facing me now, right? It's facing away. Yeah, but you are engaged with it. I feel like he's not looking. Oh, you guys are engaged. Mm-hmm. Let me look. It's not. He got down on one knee. I don't like. And, and as a bonus <laughs> action, he po- presented a ring. See, don't don't offer me outside of the universe. We're in a so playing. Thank you. When a hostile creature you can see moves out of your reach, I'm going to say he's not facing you, so you will not get an opportunity attack if you move out of range. Okay, I'm moving out of range for him to hit me. But within range of my 120 foot Eldritch Blast. All right. And I'm doing that, to be clear. Okay. Are you next to anyone else in the party or are you totally on your own? Which would be more helpful? 
<laughs> Probably to be totally on your own. I'm on my own then. Yep. All right. Great. Can I be like in a tree? <laughs> Make an athletics check for me. I am very athletic. Well done. Yeah, roll it. <laughs> oh, I have to roll? <laughs> yeah. You have to roll. I thought you were just checking with me. Wait, okay. wait. No. Eli, is that an action? All right. Is this an action, by the way? No, yeah. I'll call it your movement action to try and climb a tree. Um, I got a nine. Yeah, you do not climb a tree. <laughs> so Dave, <laughs> Dave runs over to a tree, desperately claws at it for a second, <laughs> slides back down, <laughs> <laughs> and then casts Eldritch Blast. I still get to go. Yeah. You do. Yep. You get to cast Eldritch Blast. Yep. Roll that d20 for me. Okay. 19. 19. That'll hit. Roll that damage. Rolling a d10 four plus four eight eight damage. Blast goes right between the troll's shoulder blades. Roll. All right, the other troll is still grappled by the wolves and will take some damage. I've had these fucking wolves up constantly every time we've played this game <laughs> and we finally get to use them but not the bread table <laughs> i'm gonna bite him bite him <laughs> one of the wolves bites bad and bites itself in the leg for a second it doesn't matter i just want you to know that okay. a, a wolf bit itself in the leg they're my wolves i mean you know <laughs> it shits its pants trying to <laughs> for some reason that wolf is wearing pants but and athletically it. Though. yeah yeah <laughs> So we're going to do some damage. Yeah, and that troll is still grappled and is also looking rough right now. Snedrick, you're up. All right, so question on uh, the terminology. Is a troll a humanoid? or is it... Yes. Oh, okay. All right, so I am going to use my hold person spell. Mm -hmm. Choose a humanoid, and this will be the one that the wolves don't have that I can see within range, range of 60 feet. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. On a success, the spell ends on the target. All right. Wisdom, not this one strong suit. Yeah. That's what I figured. Good. With a yeah. troll, I figured using a wisdom thing would be the way to go. Oh, what's he got to roll? 13. He rolls a 16. So the troll sort of shakes his head for a moment and is unaffected by your spell. Bridget, you're up next. All right. As my action... I am going to take my warhammer and I am going to hit the the one near me as hard as I can. That's the one that's held by the wolves or not held by the wolves? Uh, it, I I'm believe we're on the one that's held. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's the one that's held. Held. It's held by yeah, the wolves. Right. Yeah. I'm going to hit it as hard as I can with my right hand so it's going to get an extra three of... That's the one that has thoughts. Yep. Oh, no, prayers. Prayers is in my right hand. <laughs> so I'm going to... um, Yes. So that's going to be a... I'm so proud that you passed your clerical exams, dear. Who the fuck dear. are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your cousin. I I don't remember. Anyway. Did you just, like, follow us this whole time? That's a... <laughs> How are you here? <laughs> I was at her christening. She I am too. not a, a fucking... A Valkyr? <laughs> what are you... We don't get christened by Valkyr. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a... This is, she's lying. Plus. <laughs> no, I'm a clear cavumber. Mm, we should plus attack four. that. <laughs> yep, that'll hit. All right, cool. So that's going to take um, D8 plus two plus what's the four? D8 or plus three. So D8 plus five. So that's going to be eight. I don't Ooh. know who the fuck you are. <laughs> you framed me calling with Valkor, though. I'm so proud of you. All right, as my bonus action, I'm going to take my keg and I'm going to. Bring it over here, and I'm going to to <laughs> unleash the hail the hailfire alcohol on top of this thing as well. Oh, all right, excellent. Yeah, roll that uh, d20 for me. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> oh, no, that also misses. <laughs> that, is, that definitely your, misses. Your keg comes spinning over and pours <laughs> beer next to the troll. <laughs> Gets the wolf that bit itself and shit itself and is now drunk. Wolf's got its arm around the other wolf and it's like, bark, 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 man. Bark, bark, bark. We got to move here. Bark, bark. I fucking love this place, but I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a human. I am. I'm going to get a human. I see what you're doing. Bark. <laughs> 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 
Claw, you are up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... The thunder thing still going, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm going to uh, unarm strike. Fluria blows the one uh, closest to me. Do it. Okay. So how many attacks is that? Three? Three. Okay. So three D20s. Okay. 11 plus six. They're all plus six. Uh, 10 plus six. And 10 plus six again. Yep. Those all hit. Are they all D4s? They're all D4s. Okay. Oh, wait, the, but the thunder one is an extra one, right? That's right. So I'm rolling three D4s and a D6? Three D4s and three D6. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, one plus four. Mm-hmm. Uh, two plus four. Three plus four. Eleven. Seven. Four plus four. <laughs> I lost it. I Sorry. lost it. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> five damage. Six damage, seven damage, eight damage. This troll is looking rough, and it is it is jolted from no, the electricity. I, and I'm, but I'm rolling three d sixes as well. Oh, did you, does that not even count? You haven't done the d sixes yet. No, but I think I rolled too many d fours. I think I did four d fours. So yeah. it's five, six, seven. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> wait. Wait no, he get, he'll get more than I. No, I have to take e that. Eli, damage don't, back. don't, don't, don't. He'll do okay. more than eight with the sixes. I'll subtract okay. it off for you, man. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so, <laughs> do it. So five plus one, two, Six. two plus one. Okay, so one, nine, yeah, two, one, and two plus one, four. The four. Okay. Oh, I'm so, sorry, oh. math pedant. Uh, you can have it. You can have it, <laughs> math. Pedant. Okay. It troll is the same amount of hurt as before. Yeah, I'm really. just less afraid. <laughs> All right, Fawn, you are up. It's still alive. It's still alive. It's uh, a fucking troll. It's a troll. God. I was gonna say it. That, that was only an additional four, <laughs> ultimately. So, <laughs> right under these clam, won't you die? Wait, are there two of them or one of them? The giant trolls now. Two. Two trolls. Still two. Mm -hmm. One of them's looking rough though, which is. Apparently, Eli speak for somewhere within 57 hit points of, of death. <laughs> so, um, I attack with a 23. That'll hit. And I do... Ooh, 13 points of damage. And this troll is dead. So, Fawn gloriously jumps through the air, says what he said, and then cuts this troll's head clean off and lands in a badass pose behind its still standing corpse. Well, not so much badass as homely female dwarf, but yeah. 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 That could be badass. You're not a dwarf, though. You're a human. I knew I felt taller. I've got no breasts. <laughs> Dave, you're up. Okay, question. Mm -hmm. Are trolls dead or undead? Uh... Nope, they are neither. alive. They are neither. <laughs> Damn it, I tried to trick you. Okay. <laughs> um, the... I think I that might think I'm really yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've seen the kind of dumb shit magicians get away with. Yeah, it makes sense. It's worth trying. <laughs> so, <laughs> was, it a, was it not a red card? <laughs> oh, I would like to have my mage hand tie the troll's <laughs> shoelaces together. Oh, I Wait, thought you were going to pimp There's something. another fucking troll. There's just one. Yeah, there's one. He's on the ground. He's grappled. Oh, he's on the ground already? Yeah, 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 yeah. My wolves got him. Well, two of them. All right, well, then, no, I'm not doing that. The, okay. The, the whole thing would be one. he would <laughs> fall, maybe. Okay, we're going to go... We're going to go standard blunderbuss shot from my awesome spot in the next to a tree. Okay, so you're going to blunderbuss the, the troll, which is surrounded by all three of Snedrick's wolves, and Bridget. Bridget, move away. It's not my turn. Will you be able to do a saving throw, though, right? There's like a saving throw to get out of it. Everyone I'm, can I'll do a saving throw. You'll, you'll force me to. Okay. I fucking hate this blunderbuss. How much life do you have? I don't think she's been hit yet. Hey, hey Cla. No, I haven't. I can take it. I can take it. I'll get... Give you give you five dollars to steal the fucking blunderbuss, man. <laughs> <laughs> I... Roll that uh, roll that d20 for me, Dave. Well, hold on. Does he steal my blunderbuss or no? No, it's not it's his turn. Not, not, not right turn. now. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're expecting it. <laughs> 16 plus something. 16. That'll hit. So uh, I will take my I will take my reaction mm-hmm. to interpose myself uh, as a defender between the blunderbust shot and her. Excellent. You block the damage. <laughs> we hear we hear Whitney Houston singing. And I, and I, and I, yep, there it is. <laughs> we were all so in. I bet that har- I bet that harmonized just so good in the edit. I bet we all. <laughs> I can auto tune you guys if you want me to. Uh, and oh, that, I'm going to need and, you to actually, Morgan. So. <laughs> and uh, that's a one that I rolled, Don. Okay. So I take a point of damage, mm-hmm. and you get to roll for another voice. Oh, sorry, oh. no. I uh, you take Dave roll for damage because you haven't rolled for oh, damage. Oh, sorry. Yet. Oh, okay. Two d eight. Two d eight. And it. I need to do a. I do need to do a saving throw, right? No, because I I jumped in front of it. Oh shit! A three and a four, seven damage. All right, so that hurts the wolves, uh, but not much. Hurts the wolves. Hurts the wolves. Hurts the wolves. None of them make their dexterity saving throws. Which, to be fair, they are grappling a troll when yeah, you shoot yeah. them with a blunder. And, and they're wasted. Of, yeah, and one of them's yeah. drunk. One of them's and drunk. one of them's fucking drunk as shit. So yeah, they're turning to smoke and in a minute anyway. And he was biting his own ass beforehand and shitting himself. <laughs> so he was, he was doing that sober. Troll takes some damage as well. And Don, you're going to take uh, seven damage. Yep. And I rolled a one. Okay. Red light. Yep. Fondord's features all kind of pull back into the uh, magnificent fighter that you remember meeting so many days ago, but without his mustache because it fell off. Fair. All right. Okay. Snedrick. Wait, your mustache up. just fell off? On the previous one. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Your mustache fell off? What happened to my mustache? Oh, dear. All right, so Looks we've like got nothing left but this troll that is still laying prone and held out by the by the wolves. Oh right? shit! I did not let him try and escape the wolves. Oh, uh, oh and Bridget, I don't know if you heard me, but uh, Evelyn's last words were "tell tell your family I miss them." Oh, he does escape the wolves, but he's still prone because okay. uh, he used his action to fight those wolves. I am going to hit him with my shocking grasp. All right, do it. Make a melee spell attack, melee spell attack against the target. So roll a d20 for me. That's an 11, and I have the plus five on spell attack, right? Yeah, that'll hit. All right. 1d8 damage. One. One. You you reach forward and do like a carpet shuffled feet shock on the nose of this troll. <laughs> It's, it works pain. better when he's shaking my hand and isn't expecting <laughs> it. Yo, I'm sorry. I think I panicked. Bridget, you're up. I'm going to wump him with my Warhammer. Nice. And I'm, wait, can I use both hands and get to plus three on both of them? Or For no? uh, thoughts and prayers? Yes. Absolutely. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, no, because prayers only work on magic creatures and he's not magic. Oh, motherfucker. You can, wait, you can roll within the game. D and D Beyond. I didn't realize. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I just did that. It's uh okay. No, that I rolled damage. Never mind. I need to roll attack. So can you hit him with a the keg also right now? I can. It's a bonus action. Um, I got a fifteen to attack. Yep, that'll hit. And the damage I will. I guess I'm rolling it again. Is a seven. Seven. All right, and then you're using your spiritual weapon. Oh, I got a nat twenty. Look at that. Nat, yes. nat twenty. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, yes. That's fucking sweet. I didn't know you could roll in the game in the thing that I. Asked I you. know it's so cool. cool. Yeah, they recently and it has added a little that. die that rolls around on it. That's awesome. Wait, where? Where is my thing? At the bottom, bo- bottom left, the little icon there. You hit that, and it'll give oh. you a bunch of dice that you can. And it'll, a little die will come up and hey, like, hey, roll hey. over you. Uh, eight. I did eight damage with that. Eight plus the seven from your melee attack, yes? Yes. Yeah, you slam your hammer down onto this troll, and then a glorious electrified torrent of ale comes pouring down the throat (laughs) of the troll, which blows up like a cartoon and explodes out everywhere with ale, magical ale going everywhere. 
as it explodes, the fingernail of the troll whizzes through the air and just gently scratches Fondord's cheek. Oh. And Don, <laughs> I'm gonna let you choose who Fawn turns into this last time. Hmm. Red light covers Fondord and then. And then Fondord's features change to more draconic ones. He looks around. I I'm I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember any of you people. Um except for you. And he points to Dave. Python, another dragon, what's going on? No, uh no, no, no. You, well, yes. You I look am, draconic, I must say. That I would am, be the word I would say. I, am. I would use to <laughs> that describe is, your that is the word that you appearance. should use to describe my appearance, yes. Did, but, can we kill this man? No, um, I'm actually I'm actually going to I'm actually going to use yes. a, a a bonus action right now to uh to uh, not let you attack me, I can do that, right? I'm, I'm going to let a, a do a bonus action <laughs> right now to uh, do a I thing. Going, I quit the game. I think it's you. <laughs> I quit the game. Actually, no. My oh, name is uh, I'm, my name is Alvin Darkmore. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause, uh, Dave. Oh, Al, get the fuck out of here. How's it going? <laughs> I know you. We have the same it's last been forever. name. Forever. I know. It's been forever. What are you up to? Uh, well, I was playing a game against some guy, and then this idiot adventurer runs in and smashes a gemstone, and now I'm stuck in his head. Yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. I know. I know. Fucking magic. I hear you've got uh, you've got a robe of bread and a. I do. Hug now. Do you want some? Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, All right, that sounds I've amazing. Got, I still have a bunch of Martin's potato sounds rolls. Amazing. I have a little bit I... of. Red Lobster, Morgan but I feel like you should pick. I have more of the potato rolls, and it would just be like a social faux pas for you to pick the one that is only right a little now. bit left. I okay. want the right. cheese I things. I like them. They have Look cheese in them. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want to take everything. I just want to take a little bit. I just I want to have something to... I go and steal the horn. All right. You can have the six pack of the potato rolls. damage to myself. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Slowly pans away as Dave shares bread with himself. Bridget attempts to commit suicide, <laughs> and Claw once again embraces the troll summoning horn. Proceeding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved.